Here we are, all ready to do the afterthought thumb of your mitten. I want you to notice you've put in, just remember, you put in scrap yarn here. And that is holding the bottom half of a stitches and the top half of stitches. Remember when you do a thumb and it attaches down by the body, it's kind of a challenge not to have a gap, okay, right at those stress points. Actually, I kind of like afterthought thumbs because I think they are the easiest to not have gaps on the sides. Now, watch me have gaps now that I've made that little statement. Anyway, the other thing I want to remind you is we are still using Magic Loop, even though we're going to be doing a tiny, tiny circumference. I have just moved down to a 24 inch long cable of my circular needle gives me a little bit less to have to work with when I'm working with so few stitches. All right, here's what you're gonna do. I want you to, now remember, this cotton yarn, or whatever waste yarn you used, is just holding a stitch. See, look, here it is right here. Here's one half, and there's the other half, simple enough. I want you to be picking up the front, you know, the first half of the stitches. So you're going to go grab the first half, skip the second half, grab the first half here, okay, skip the second, grab. Now some people go through and take their yarn out first and then pick up their stitches. I'm too much of a chicken. I like leaving my yarn in until I have all my stitches. The reason I show that to you is I want you to go back and remember what we said about having a gap in where that join is. Okay, here's technically the first stitch that you're holding with your yarn. I want you to go one row over and actually pick up half of a stitch in the row before the row that you're gonna be going through. Do you see what I'm saying? You're starting basically one row early, okay? I want you to go toddling right along, pick up all your stitches. At the end, no, I don't want you to pick up an extra. I want you to just pick up what you're supposed to be picking up, okay? Because what we're gonna do is pull your needle out, turn your work just as though you know, you're doing a magic loop. In this case, I want you to do it again. Go one row over and then proceed to pick up the stitches that are being held by the cotton. Okay, so here's the stitch here. Start one stitch over, then start doing all the picking up. You'll end up with one extra stitch more than you actually put on the holding yarn and one extra stitch more than you actually put on the holding yarn. That way, pretend I picked up all my stitches. See, that's gonna pull it all nice and trim. You're making the, you're basically turning the corner by picking up the extra stitch one row over before you start marching along. Okay, I'm gonna get back after I have all my stitches picked up. Okay, now I went through and as I showed you, I picked up one half of a stitch to the right of the first stitch that was being held by my waist yarn. And I picked up half stitches all the way across. I turned my work, picked up half of a stitch to the right, knit all the way across. Okay, so it makes it look like you're a bit off kilter. You've got an extra stitch here and an extra stitch here. But by the time you start knitting around, it all evens out. Now at this stage, you picked up all of your stitches and you can go through and start pulling your waist yarn out of there if you want, or you can do it, frankly, later. But you can see as I start pulling my waist yarn out of here, that opening that it was holding closed starts to come apart. See, perfect, waiting for your thumb. All right, I want you to be knitting around and around and around 
until when you put your thumb through this opening, the knitting ends up at your knuckle. Now, to get started on that, again, you don't have to take all the cotton yarn out right now or your waist yarn out right now. You can do it after you've knit a couple of rounds. Totally up to you, doesn't matter. But I do want to show you how to get started. Remember, you're still knitting Magic Loop just in a little tiny, tiny, tiny circumference. In this case, you're going to have your needle point here, pull your needle out, turn around just like normal, holding the tail of the yarn. Look at this, no worries. It's just plain old knitting across. You're going to knit all the way across what are essentially the front half of your stitches. Turn your work and you'll be knitting across the back half. Go round and round until you get to the knuckle of your thumb. 